welcome today we will see how to simulate voltage source inverter using matlab to do that go to library browser in library browser go to simscape in simscape go to sim power system in sim power system go to specialized technology then fundamental blocks and get the following components the first block we need is dc voltage source then we need 6 MOSFET then we need 3 phase series RLC load then we need ground then we need 6 voltage measurement power guide pulse generator 6 pulse generator now let us arrange the circuit to do that go to the center of the block hold it and drag it to a new location Place your cursor at the center of the block, hold it and drag it. The first block is source, then the MOSFETs, now select all the MOSFET and press Ctrl R to rotate the MOSFETs, then Then we place the six pulse generator. Now let us change the name of the MOSFET. This is MOSFET number 1. I can change the name by double clicking on it. This is MOSFET number 3. This is MOSFET number 
5 this is MOSFET number 4 this is MOSFET number 6 This is MOSFET number 2. Next, now let us rename the pulse generator. This is pulse generator 1. This is pulse generator 3. This is pulse generator 5. This is pulse generator 4. This is pulse generator 6. This is pulse generator. MOSFET 1, pulse generator 1, MOSFET 3, pulse generator 3, MOSFET 5, pulse generator 5, MOSFET 4, pulse generator 4, MOSFET 6, pulse generator 6, MOSFET 2, pulse generator 2. Now let us connect all the devices. The next block is load. Select the load and rotate the load. This is a three phase load. R phase, Y phase, and V phase. This voltmeter it will measure line voltage and hence I am renaming it as line voltage 1, 2 and 3. I will be using this voltmeter for measuring the phase voltage and hence I am renaming this voltmeters as phase voltage 1. Phase voltage 2, phase voltage 3. Now let us connect the voltmeters. This is line voltage, and hence it will be connected across two phases.
this voltmeter will measure the phase voltage Then I am changing the number of input in the scope from 1 to 3. Now let us configure the blocks. Now we have completed the circuit. Next we will configure the blocks. I will give the input as 350 voltage. Then first generator 1 value. Amplitude is 5 volt. Time period is 0 0.02. Pulse width is 50 phase delay is 0 for gate pulse 3 amplitude is 5 time period is 0 0.02 pulse width is 50 phase delay is 0 0.02 divided by 3 for gate 5 5 0 0.02 50 0 0.04 divided by 3 5 0 0.02 50 0 0.01 5 0 0.02 50 0 0.05 divided by 3 amplitude 5 time period 0 0.02 pulse width 50 0 0.01 divided by 3. Now we have configured input. Next we have configured 6 pulse generator. Then we will configure the load. Load is 50 hertz and VRM is 350. Then we will change the simulation round time to 0 0.1 and then now let us run the simulation Now the scope will give you the first scope will give you the line voltage
now let us go and configure the scope This is your line voltage. The first scope has given the line voltage. Next scope will give you the phase voltage. This is your phase voltage output for a three phase voltage source inverter for. This is your line voltage. This is your phase voltage output for a three phase voltage source inverter for 180 degree mode, and then this is your output for a three phase voltage source inverter for face to face voltage thank you